Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, council members, city officials, and also our home audience. I'd like to welcome you to the December 10th City Council meeting. We have four items on our agenda this evening. First, we'll start off with the roll call. Mr. Paulson, would you like to call the roll of members? Corcoran. Fairchild. Here. Florima. Here. Hines. Here. Kearney. Here. Neal. Here. Patrick. Here. Cole. Here. Tatman. Here. Do I have a motion to excuse our absent members? By Ms. Kearney. Seconded by Ms. Neal. Uh, roll call on the motion to excuse our absent members. Fairchild. Yes. Florima. Yes. Hines. Yes. Kearney. Yes. Neal. Yes. Patrick. Yes. Kroll. Yes. Chapman. Yes. So we've excused uh, Ms. Corcoran. Everybody would please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. <coughs> Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, the minutes of the previous meeting have been distributed for review. Do we have an, a motion to accept the minutes as they are, or do we have any corrections? Mr. Prohl? I'll make a motion to accept it. We have a motion to accept. Second by Mr. Hines. Roll call on that motion. Churchill? Yes. Florima? Yes. Hines? Yes. Kearney? Yes. Neal? Yes. Patrick? Yes. Prohl? Yes. Tatman? Yes. And we have accepted the minutes as they were distributed. Uh, moving on, uh, reports of our committees. Uh, who would you like to go first this evening? Uh, Mr. Hunt. Thank you, President Arnold. <coughs> City Services has one item on tonight's agenda. It's item number three, an ordinance authorizing the purchase of a dump truck with a snow blade and salt spreading equipment at a cost not to exceed $200,000, appropriating $100,000 for a down payment with the balance to be financed. As I reported last meeting, the City Service Committee met on November 19th to discuss assignment 18105, which was requested by Service Director Carmen. The request was made because the main truck and our snowplow fleet had deteriorated so badly that the bed and frame had rusted through, having been in service for 22 years. Uh, Mr. Carmen also informed us that a truck fitting the need of that description was available in a lot, in, in, a lot on, in Georgia, which has, been, has since been sold. He also informs that a Kenworth is more desirable both because of the quality of the truck and the connection to our city. Uh, we're currently looking for uh, another truck to fit that need, and we do need to move quickly because if one becomes available, um, we need to scoop it up because um, if we have to order one from Kenworth, it could, it could take as much as a whole year for us to expect delivery. With the winter being on, I think we, we need to move as quickly as we can. City Auditor Spetnagel was sure committed that the request of $100,000 we needed for deposit money was already available in our unappropriated state highway funds money and that she already contacted three financial institutions about financing the remaining amount. Uh, Mr. Carmen also informed us we'd be attempting to uh, auction off the existing truck as is to recoup some of the money. Uh, as I said a minute ago, we're already in the middle of winter. We've already experienced some, some winter weather uh, earlier maybe than expected. So. Uh, in order to secure a truck with those snow plow capabilities, I will be at the appropriate time asking that we waive the three read rule to get this passed through as quickly as possible. And that's all that I have. Thank you, Mr. Hines. Anyone else at this time? Uh, Ms. Patrick? Thank you, President Arnold. The Transit Committee has one item on tonight's agenda. It's item number four. And it is an ordinance appropriating funds received from the Tiger Grant for the new scheduling software at the Transit Department. Uh, this is we approved the grant uh, for administration to apply. They've received it, and I'll just uh, wait for three read rule, ask for that, and that's all I've got on this one. Uh, thank you, Mrs. Patrick. Anyone else? Uh, yes, Mrs. Neal. A development committee has items one and two on the agenda. Um, item one is at the third read, and this is the um, big truck legislation. Uh, and the new uh, copy is attached with all the changes that we've made. Um, basically, those were times and um, a couple other small items. Um, but that is up for the third read, so um, I ask for your support and passage of that this evening. 
Um, item number two is uh, assignment 18037. It approves a real estate option agreement uh, between the City of Chillicothe and Adena Health System for property located at 50 Centennial Boulevard. Um, this is an option only. It's uh, no commitment on our part to to purchase or to purchase, but this is not purchased because this is going to be in a donation. But um, this is for a uh, new fire station. It's something we'll be discussing and have a lot of public input on. Um, but at the time, we would just like to have this option for one year, um, so that that if we decide to move forward, we'll have an option on this piece of property. Um, this is at first read, so it will go another read. Excuse me, Mrs. Neal. Mm -hmm. You do need to move to amend number one by substituting that new version that was distributed with the Friday packet for the ori original version. The new version was distributed with the changes, but it, it's not been approved as an amended substitute, so you need to move to substitute now. Okay. Um. <laughs> I'd like to move to make a substitution for I have a move for a substitution, seconded by Mr. Florima. Roll call on the motion. Fairchild? Yes. Florima? Yes. Hines? Yes. Kearney? Yes. Neal? Yes. Patrick? Yes. Roll? Yes. Tatman? Yes. And that motion has been approved. <coughs> that concludes my report. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Neal. Uh, anybody else have any uh, reports? That takes care of all of our items on the agenda. Yes. Uh, Thank you, President Ms. Fairchild. Um, the Human Resources Committee um, um, actually passed an ordinance at our last meeting, and it's one, uh, Ordinance 100-18. I passed out, as well as uh, Ms. Sputnik will pass out, um, a change to that ordinance. The change um, is a clerical error in the sections of clerk of courts, and court aid, the pay schedule was wrong, just wasn't correct. And then also there was a change um, suggested in um, Section 5 um, that makes the provisions as it, in regards to fringes and uh, benefit time. Um, effective January 1st, 2019, whereas the hourly wages, wages will be effective January 1st, 2018. And at this time, I'd like to make a motion to reconsider this ordinance. I have a motion to reconsider this ordinance, second by Mrs. Patrick. Roll call on the motion to reconsider this ordinance. Fairchild. Yes. Florima. Yes. Himes. Yes. Kearney. Yes. Neal. Yes. Patrick. Yes. Probably. Yes. Patman. Yes. Uh, this motion has been reconsidered with the changes that are made uh, that has been presented. I would like to now uh, make a motion to amend the ordinance to the changes that I just discussed. I have a motion to amend it to the changes that you just uh, presented. Uh, seconded by Mrs. Patrick. Roll call on the motion to amend. Churchill. Yes. Florima. Yes. Hines. Yes. Kearney. Yes. Neil. Yes. Patrick. Yes. Kroll. Yes. Patrick. Yes. And we have uh, accepted the changes. Now we'll have a motion to. I'd like to make a motion um, to pass the changes as I, indicated. I have a motion to approve the ordinance with the changes. Seconded by Mr. Hines. Roll call on that motion. Fairchild. Yes. Florima. Yes. Hines. Yes. Kearney. Yes. Neil. Yes. Patrick. Yes. Kroll. Yes. Chapman. Yes. And that uh, ordinance has been approved as changed. Thank you, Mr. Arnold. I'd also like to address um, item number one, if I may, um, as I serve on the development committee as well. Um, I'd really like council to consider voting no on this legislation, um, as I did sit in all the committee meetings, and I appreciate all the hard work that uh, Councilwoman Neal has put into it, because she did an awful lot of research, as did the mayor's office. I really feel this legislation is overwrought with regulations that I'm not, I don't think we intend to enforce. Um, so I don't feel we're promoting business or food trucks in our area with this ordinance. So I'd like just to 
have that noted. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Any other reports from committees? Not seeing any, we'll move uh, on to the reports of our officials and uh, our mayor, Mr. Pudikini. Thank you, President Arnold. Uh, first, I'll mention that we have uh, Human Resources Director Lowe here tonight. If, there are any, if, any, if there's any desire from council to follow up on um, the pay ordinance, any questions or all of that Councilwoman Fairchild presented, uh, she can present now. I think it was fairly clear. Okay. Um, and so following up on uh, Councilwoman Fairchild's <coughs> comments on uh, item one, uh, I would ask for your favorable vote on item one. Um, the reason uh, I made this committee assignment request is because I love food trucks. And we get calls at uh, the mayor's office all the time, and we are not able to uh, give um, guidance really at all uh, to food trucks as to where they can set up, how long they can set up. Um, and uh, the lack of information uh, is sort of frustrating to the food trucks. Um, and we sort of feel like we're turning away business. And so I think that uh, when the legislation was pulled back, uh, hopefully some of those um, uh, re regulations such as the time of day that the truck could operate, um, I, my understanding is that the, the people who own and operate food trucks locally um, had some input, uh, like Councilman Fairchild mentioned, in the process we invited in food truck owners to sort of give us their guidance. So really the intent of uh, the ordinance is to encourage and attract food trucks to the community um, and bolster business by giving them a little bit of guidance. Um, the, the, the specifics of which I think um, hopefully will be uh, adequate after these revisions. So I'd ask for your support and hopefully the food trucks can keep pouring in. Um, couple other items. Uh, I want to comment on uh, a retirement. Uh, <coughs> Ross County uh, Chamber of Commerce um, Executive Director Randy Davies is retiring and leaving the community. His going away party was this evening. Um, uh, this season, perhaps, uh, is one of the uh, maybe legacies of what he's worked on uh, a lot recently, uh, downtown Christmas lights. Uh, but I think his passion for the community is, is pretty apparent. Um, his work uh, across the community, growing the chamber. Um, so he's, he's always been good to work with, uh, both when I was the auditor and his mayor. Um, and I wish him well in his uh, new adventures. I think he's heading somewhere warmer than, warmer than Ohio. Um, just want to mention, uh, this week and next week are the last weeks of our regular leaf pickup. Uh, we, you know, as with every year, uh, uh, we're dependent on the weather. And this year we had uh, leaves that didn't fall for a long time, and then they fell, and then they froze. Um, and so we are very appreciative of the public's patience. Um, it is a much slower process when the leaves are frozen when we try to suck them up with that vacuum. Um, and so while we were finishing uh, next week and the seasonal employees will end, we are still offering uh, basically on-demand service. So please, um, constituents, or advise your constituents that we will uh, respond to phone calls at 773-2700. Um, this week, uh, being the second to the last week, this is Thursday traffic pickup week, next week will be Friday. Uh, of course, it is slow moving with, with the frozen leaves, but we will continue to pick those up. Um, it's a, it's a nice service to have to get the leaves removed from your yard, but um, one of the big impacts that sort of goes unnoticed and something that I <coughs> had no idea about until I was in government was the impact on our storm sewers. And so it's a dual impact for us, um, uh, flooding and uh, clogged, clogged drains and that sort of thing. So we will continue to be diligent uh, to remove those. Um, this is the last meeting before Christmas. Uh, there will be another meeting before Christmas tree pickup starts, but I do want to remind everybody that the city will provide Christmas tree pickup service. Um, it will run January 2nd to the 18th on the same day as your trash pickup, uh, but put the trees in front of your house. Uh, <coughs> and uh, please
please try not to block any sidewalks or driveways. And we'll be running those weeks uh, thinking of Christmas trees. And then finally, a little bit of um, seasonal cheer. Uh, the police department, uh, like they do every year, each shift adopts a family. Um, and uh, through their uh, generosity, just looking out for some families in the community, I just want to thank them for that. And the transit department over the last several weeks has been uh, collecting um, toys to donate. And they donated those to, for two toys. Top, what's it called? Rock for Tots, not Toys for Tots, Rock for Tots. Uh, donated those toys to Rock for Tots. Um, so uh, city, our, our city departments are getting in the spirit. And, I appreciate that. Um, and uh, since this is the last meeting, I'd like to wish everybody here in Council, Council Chambers and the city of Chilcotti a very Merry Christmas. Thank you, Mayor King. <coughs> we have our auditor here, uh, Ms. Crystal Spetnagel. Um, I just want to touch base on item number three. Um, that is the purchase of ducks <coughs> from Snowblade. We're going to be appropriating a hundred thousand from the state highway fund, and then once the finance, once we finally get the truck and the financing in line, we'll be appropriating that um, as well with the offset coming in for the revenue to, to offset that expense. And then um, on Monday we'll have a budget review as well at six thirty. And that concludes my report. Thank you. Um, as far as anything that I've got to say, um, I first off want to apologize to the home audience for the cameras. As of 3.30 this afternoon, I had everything working and it was all in color. I even added two new cameras. So we now have a camera over the mayor and, and uh, we um, uh, have uh, um, all the angles covered, including the um, audience area. Um, and then I will come in now and turn everything on. and. We're in black and white, and one of the cameras isn't working. So, um, is that one? it's actually that one up there that, that is over John and I here. So, at any rate, uh, hopefully next year we'll get some good high definition cameras. We'll be in color. I'm, I can't get feedback that the sound's going perfectly fine. So, hopefully that will change. Um, I again want to echo what the mayor said. This is our last meeting before Christmas, so I did want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. And though you can't see me in color this evening, I will even wore a red shirt for the occasion. So just picture me in black and white with a red shirt, and I'm wishing you all Merry Christmas, okay? And uh, I've got uh, later on some um, uh, mention that or some other things I want to add to one of the committee assignments that we uh, are going to have a little later. But for now, we'll move on to audience participation. And I'm not seeing anybody in the audience. I do have a camera there, so I can at least uh, show that, unfortunately, we do have kind of a, a uh, fair audience. We would like to see more people come in to council. Uh, I even give you the offer of people that have different uh, organ organization promotions going on, um, raffles. But, uh, I don't want to turn it into a uh, uh, advertising block here, but if you do have something that, that a, a legitimate heart association, any not, you know, I'm not going to say anybody's going to be not legitimate, but an organization that you like to uh, uh, bring in and say something, uh, this is a place that you, uh, you are welcome to because this is uh, public audience participation. Uh, moving on from audience participation, we go to old business. Does anybody have any old business they'd like to bring up? Okay. Um, petitions and correspondence received by the court. Uh, Mr. President, I have two items. Uh, first of all, uh, each year, actually on February 1 of 2019, uh, all of the uh, liquor permits within the city of Chilcothe will expire and uh, must be renewed. Uh, I distributed to the members of council a notice from the Ohio Department of Commerce uh, Division of Liquor Control uh, explaining how council is permitted to object to the issuance of a particular uh, liquor permit uh, renewal. And uh, that's, as I say, been distributed. Uh, secondly, I have received uh, a letter from the uh, Ross County Board of Commissioners. Um, this is uh, directed to the Ohio Development Services Agency, and it is in reference to 
and Enterprise Zone Agreement of October 15, 2018 between the County Commissioners and the Kenworth Truck Company, a division of PACR. And uh, the letter is self-explanatory. Uh, it is uh, uh, required to be uh, uh, provided to uh, the legislative authority as well as a number of other entities that are uh, copied on the letter. And that's all I have, Mr. President. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you, Mr. Paulson. Uh, moving on, we have a new business. Does anybody have any new business they'd like to bring up? Uh, not seen any. Uh, committee assignments uh, and meeting dates. Um, I have four committee assignments that I received uh, prior to uh, tonight. Um, community Affairs, request for legislation to support the United Way of Ross County and to assume ownership of the Ross County 211 resource line and support the project, project with a commitment of $5,000 for the next three years. Uh, to Parks and Recreation, a request for legislation to approve and authorize the signing of the Capital Improvement Community Park Recreation Conservation Project pass-through grant agreement between the State of Ohio Department of Natural Resources and the Ross County Park District and the City of Chillicothe as a joint property owner. To Transit, request for legislation to appropriate uh, money from the Tiger Grant for scheduling software, and that's on tonight's agenda. And I had a request and uh, made it uh, for an assignment for uh, council to discuss and to possibly develop and move forward with a master plan for our facilities. Um, I put this uh, out as a committee of the whole. I uh, uh, thought about this quite a bit, and this is quite a, quite a large um, undertaking, needless to say, and it really jumps over and, and is involved with quite a few different committees. Uh, committee, committee of the whole means the whole council will be involved with this. Uh, I mean, you've got uh, utilities, has buildings that are affected. Uh, finance, obviously, is involved. Park and Rec has buildings that are affected. Uh, development, this is development, so we need to discuss that. City services have buildings uh, in that. Uh, so does safety services, police and fire. And, of course, we need engineering. So literally all the, all the committees in here are, have some involvement to this. So um, we're going to, I'm going to set it up for the meetings. will be the third Wednesday of the month on a Monday, which is our off Mondays at 6.30 here in Chambers. And uh, it probably is going to take several meetings before we get a consensus. I did send out a digital copy of the um, uh, of the the presentation that we uh, had here, and all of you that were here has a, also a hard copy of it. So over the next month, I know holiday season is very busy, over the next month, um, kind of look that over and uh, get some ideas of what you think, and then we'll kind of start piling ideas together as a group and see what we can come up with. Um, I will forewarn uh, Mr. Tapman over here. Uh, these were the only four assignments I had until today, uh, but late this afternoon at 4.30, I've got 10 assignments. I've got through about half of them so far. They all seem to deal with engineering, and uh, they are all time sensitive and need to be done right away, it says. Um, so I've just kind of given you a heads up. It appears that pretty much all the assignments deal with um, uh, new construction and development and things that are going to be going on in the city. So the positive part of it is uh, it's all forward progress. So. Uh, I'll have that out to you very quickly. I have Christmas shopping. I have parties. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Good parties. I know that. Okay. So, um, we do have a budget review meeting here uh, next Monday. Am I correct on this? Uh, at the mm -hmm. Solid now? Okay. Next Monday, December the 17th. Um, at 6.30 here in Chambers, and that's going over our, our budget for next year. And also, I'd like to mention to everybody, our next meeting is Thursday, December the 27th at 7.30. So it's not the day after Christmas, it's two days after Christmas on December the 27th. So mark that on your calendars.
Uh, well, if you're traveling, we'll give you an extra day to get back, and they'll give you an extra day to play through new toys. So, okay. Uh, with all that being said, we move on to our legislation. Uh, <coughs> Mr. Fawson, whenever you're ready, item <coughs> number one. Third reading of an ordinance amending section 717.03 and 717.05 of the codified ordinances of the City of Chillicothe, Ohio, adding codified ordinance 726 to the codified ordinances and declaring an emergency. Third reading. Roll call on the uh, legislation. Fairchild. No. Florima. Yes. That was a yes? Okay. Uh, Hines. Yes. Kearney. Yes. Neal. Yes. Patrick. Yes. Prohl. Yes. Patman. Yes. Seven yeses. That ordinance has passed. Item number two. First reading of an ordinance approving a real estate option agreement by and between the City of Chillicothe and Adena Health System for property located at 50 Centennial Boulevard. First reading. That will move on to the next meeting. Item number three. First reading of an ordinance authorizing the purchase of a dump truck with snow blade and salt spreading equipment at a cost not to exceed $200,000, appropriating $100,000 for a down payment with the balance being financed and declaring an emergency. First reading. Mr. Hines? I'd like to make a motion to waive the three read rule. I have a motion to waive the three read rule, second by Mr. Florima. Roll we'll call on that motion. Furchow? Yes. Florima? Yes. Hines? Yes. Kearney? Yes. Neal? Yes. Patrick? Yes. Prohl? Yes. Tatman? Yes. And that motion has been passed. Roll we'll call on the legislation. Furchow? Yes. Florima? Yes. Hines? Yes. Kearney? Yes. Neal? Yes. Patrick? Yes. Prohl? Yes. Tatman? Yes. And that ordinance has passed. Uh, item number four. First reading of an ordinance appropriating $15,396 for the new transit department scheduling <coughs> software and declaring an emergency. First reading. Ms. Patrick. I'd like to make a motion to waive the three read rule. I have a motion to waive the three read rule. Second by Ms. Prohl. I didn't get you guys confused. Uh, roll call on that motion. First out. Yes. Florima? Yes. Hines? Yes. Kearney? Yes. Neal? Yes. Patrick? Yes. Prohl? Yes. Tap? Yes. That motion has passed. Mm -hmm. Roll call on the legislation. Churchill? Yes. Florima? Yes. Hines? Yes. Kearney? Yes. Neal? Yes. Patrick? Yes. Prohl? Yes. Tap? Yes. And that ordinance has passed. Uh, does anybody have anything else they'd like to add for the evening? Mr. Florima? Oh, no. I've got what I usually get at this time. You have, to you have a motion to adjourn, seconded by Mrs. Mrs. Neal. Roll call on the motion to adjourn. Furchow? Yes. Florima? Yes. Hines? Yes. Kearney? Yes. Neal? Yes. 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 Thank you, everybody. Have a good evening. Merry Christmas to all. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.